7.30 this morning, we're following breaking news out of Butler, Missouri, where a woman was seriously hurt when officers tried to save her from her alleged kidnapper. Police say that kidnapper shot that woman in the face in front of Bates County Sheriff's deputies, forcing them to return fire, killing that man. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel live in front of the Bates County Sheriff's Office with what else we know. This is about an hour away from Kansas City. Ray, you've been there most of the morning. What more can you tell us about this investigation? We still know that woman is in the hospital with serious injuries, Taylor, but Cass County is actually picking up this investigation um, because this was an officer involved shooting. They work close with Henry County as well as Bates County with major incidents, working with specially trained deputies when it comes to incidents such as this one, just to help ensure that there is a transparent investigation. Here's what happened. Bates County Sheriff's Office got the call around 930 last night of a kid Kidnapping. A woman was leaving work when a man held her at gunpoint, forcing her into her car. The Bates County Sheriff's Office got a tip that they were heading to Kansas City. The deputies pulled them over on I-49 northbound. Woman got out of the car, was walking towards officers. That's when the man got out of the back seat and started shooting at the woman, shot the woman in the face in front of officers. That's when deputies fired back at the man. For First aid was administered to both the man and the woman. That man died on the scene, and we do know that woman is in a hospital in Kansas City with serious injuries. Again, we do know that that woman is still in the hospital. That's the latest update that we do have. Um, according to the Bates County Sheriff's Office, we know that this man and woman knew each other because a woman filed an ex parte order to preventing the man from staying anywhere near her. Reporting live in Bates County, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News Today on 38 The Spot.